All right, please, for the love of God, look here. Don't be dead. All right. Your cowardice kind of disappoints me, but I don't know that I can blame you so much. <laughs>right we are back in skyrim with eldman iron eye and his faithful companion loki of rorikstead who's around here somewhere and our temporary companion and good friend amarin of white run standing next to me here in the last episode we were tasked with coming out to the valthine tower where we are now and we were asked to capture or kill the bandit chief that was out here which we did indeed manage to do i've got his head in a uh, black satchel attached to my belt here but unfortunately uh, that battle was uh, hard fought, and not everyone who came out to fight the Battle of the Valtheme Tower uh, survived. We had uh, two mercenaries following us, and they, they did not make it through the battle. And we will not forget them. We will for sure uh, drink a toast to their honor and their bravery once we get back to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to head back to Dragon's Reach and uh, turn in the bounty with the Preventus. Um, but first, we're going to have to get there. Uh, I've got the game paused. Uh, because we are about to get attacked by a group of patrolling bandits. I've got, uh, Obis Organized Bandits in Skyrim and Obis Patrols, which, uh, adds exactly what it sounds like. It adds patrols of bandits to the game. And there are a handful of bandits, uh, who are about to attack us. And I know this very well because the bandits who are about to attack us are actually the, uh, thumbnail of the first episode. The second I was done with the outro of the last episode, we were immediately attacked by a group of bandits, which include a bandit that is on fire. So this is going to be rather precarious. Even attacking that person will set you on fire as well. So when that happened, I figured, well, you know what, let me reload the save, and that'll be the first thing we take care of when we start in on the next episode. So, I'm gonna unpause. And uh, we got to go find Loke here. I think he's downstairs somewhere. And uh, hopefully he's not getting attacked by the bandits as we speak. And we'll go see if we can deal with this mess. And then uh, we will start our journey back towards Whiterun. All right, Amron, ready your weapon. Let's go check this out. Now, hopefully Loke here is down here somewhere. All right, I'm severely fatigued. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah! All right, I found Loke here. Always a pleasure. And... The bandits are busy with something. Loke here grumbles about lack of food. The bandits have found us. All right, guys. Oh, and there's the fire lady. All right. I'm going to see if I can get behind these guys. All right, fire lady's down. Let's get the rest of them. Guys. Nice. All right. Okay, careful. All right, well... I guess once the fire lady's dead, her fire doesn't bother us anymore. That is some bullshit. On fire enemies, that is not cool. All right, everybody step away from there. Jeez Louise. Where's Loki here? All right. Okay, my word. What a way to start. Well, at least they're all dead. It wasn't that difficult. I'm a little worse for wear, but that's just fine. I'll take a uh, couple of healing potions since I am close to death there. And, uh, let's check the dead. I think we've checked everybody else in the end of the last episode. Uh, thankfully we can touch this lady without burning to death since she's blocking the path. But what does she have? A lockpick? Ooh, nice. A frenzy potion? A solution of health? I'll take that for sure. Okay, we're gonna have to look for food. These guys are grumbling about lack of food, which is, you know, understandable. Oh, excellent. Beef. Alright, we'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. So they are both grumbling about lack of food, and I am severely fatigued. I have a uh, mod on... I forget which one it is. It might be something combining with I Need, or it might be I Need alone, but... Uh, a mod on that adds, like, an adrenaline system, where you can um, reduce your fatigue uh, while you're fighting pretty dramatically, so you can continue fighting because you get that, that rush of adrenaline, but then you get adrenaline dump, where when you're out of the fight... Uh, you crash hard. And that's where we're at right now. Thanks. So it's still early in the morning. It is 9.30, so it is very early in the morning. Um, but we have had a, a hard fight. We're picking up from the end of the last episode where we uh, took the tower. I guess we've held the tower for now. It's going to get turned over. We can't leave anybody here to guard it, so. All right, I'm just making absolutely sure that we uh, got everybody. Were you the person that fell? No, but we'll take your mud crab legs for sure. Oh, here's some food, guys. We got apples. You guys love apples. We're just gonna check everything since we're hungry. Yeah, these guys are complaining again. How am I doing other than... 
I'm a bit hungry, and I'm severely fatigued. You guys better go buy food when we get back, I swear to god. Nice, salmon meat. Alright, we'll cook a bunch here. And, uh, then we'll start the journey home. I'm pretty sure I saw... ...a cook pot out front. Actually, you know what? There's a cook pot literally right here. Off the, uh, off the road. Oh, nice. Even more beef. You guys are fine. I've cooked so much, we're gonna have a protein feast here, guys. Here. Look Divines here. Bless you. I'm gonna have to sleep. We're not gonna sleep here because we've already encountered... ...a bandit patrol. Once. Fool me once, shame on me. What we will do is, uh, we'll head to that, um... ...little encampment where we found the, uh, the necromancers. And we fought those skeletons and necromancers at the end of the last episode. And we will, um, use their camp. I, uh, recall lamenting that it would make a good camp for us anyway. Oh my goodness, it's so good to be back in this game. I didn't get to play at all last week. Which is kind of a bummer. Like... There are certain games that I just get, like, an absolute immense, like... ...like, drive to play. Like, a strong desire to play the game. And, uh, Skyrim's definitely one of those. Like, I will just get immersed in this game for months at a time. But it's fun to strike when the iron's hot. Like, I was really, really wanting to play. But unfortunately, real life gets in the way. Alright, we are- I'm gonna collect as much Tundra Cotton as possible. Because one of the things I'd like to do is, um... Eventually, we will put together... ...a roster of, like, maybe two... ...two followers... ...two fighter followers... ...uh... ...that will just be absolutely part of our team. Oh my goodness, and that just reminds me... ...I forgot a mod. So what I was gonna say was, we'll put together a roster of two... ...like, committed followers, at least. Like, Lokir if he survives, and maybe Lydia if we end up getting her, if we do that. I mean, we've got the... ...Bleak Falls Barrow... ...uh, quest in there. Eventually we will get to that. Um... But whatever it is, like, two people who are gonna stick with me as long as they survive. Um... And I'd like to give us a uh. uniform so we don't look like bandits. I know, I'm severely fatigued. Um... And I have, um... A mod that adds all the Witcher... Uh... I think it's mostly from The Witcher 2, I think. But it adds a bunch of Witcher armor. And, uh... One of the ones I like a lot is the, um... Blue Stripes Heavy Armor. And so I'll probably... And you need Tundra Cotton to make it, so... I will get a, an inordinate amount of Tundra Cotton while playing. I'm always gonna stop for Tundra Cotton. That makes a nice little uniform so we look like we, uh, we know what we're doing. We don't look like a bunch of ragtag bandits traipsing through the lands. Right now, we still are. We don't know what we're doing and we are, but ooh. Mm, nice. Um... We don't know what we're doing and we are a bunch of just ragtag half-bandits. So at some point, we'll, we'll legitimize ourselves. And that reminded me that I forgot a mod I like to have, which is, um... It's called, like, Make Your Own Faction or something, where you can, like, drop a marker anywhere you're standing. Like, I could drop it here, and this would become my faction headquarters, and then I can recruit people to my faction. I can all but guarantee you that is going to get added to this, uh, playthrough at some point. Yeah, this is a nice little spot. I mean, it's not the most perfectly situated. It's kind of far from Whiterun. Um, but I dig this little spot. I don't know if people would respawn here if I claimed some of these things for myself. I don't know. I'm sure they would, but who cares? Then I would just fight them out. All right. You guys keep watch or do what you're going to do. I literally have to sleep. We're going to sleep a solid eight hours, and we'll try to get into Whiterun before nightfall, and then maybe even sleep some more. Who knows? All right. So I've slept, so now I can level up. I have sleep to level up installed, and so we'll, uh, we'll take health because I keep getting my uh, health knocked about. I'm going to have to take stamina soon. But maybe after I get to 200 in health. My, what I really, really, the main, main perk that I want, and after that I don't care about perks. I've, I rarely ever care about these perks. Um, but I want deflect arrows. Oh my goodness. I really want it. I have just gone and added that via the console on other playthroughs, because I feel like it's so necessary with you, with having, like, high-level damage. Um, what we'll do is we'll add, uh, whatever does swords. There we go, swords. Let me just make sure I've got everything at the bottom here. Yeah, we'll take that. Swords reduce attack damage by 10% for 10 seconds. So I'm hoping that means other people's attack damage, uh, which that's good. That'll, uh, theoretically, in a way, you know, in a... Well. Why, thank you. In a roundabout way, that will add to my health pool because I will lose less health while we're fighting. All right, I gotta eat something too. I'm sated, I'm hydrated, I'm rested. Let's get the hell out of here. So I don't know if I already mentioned, but I don't have much of a plan for today. Um, what we will do is, um, 
We're gonna get Amran home. Uh, he has done enough. Uh, he helped us, and I am forever grateful for that. Um, but he's got a family, he's got a wife and daughter, and they really did not want him to leave, and so we're gonna bring them back, uh, bring him back to his family, and leave him off richer than he started, so he can provide for them. Maybe later on. Later, later on, we'll take him out again so he can make some money. Maybe we'll find something easy to do much later on. Ah, oh, shit. Is my, uh... No, okay. I thought my shield animation was broken. Every once in a while, it breaks. We're not gonna fight this guy if we don't have to. Usually they'll just run away as we get close. Oh, nope, no, you don't. he won't. <laughs> that takes but he will get kicked to death. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Yeah, so we're gonna drop him off. And, um, I think Lokir and I might do some, like, just general adventuring. We really got ourselves knocked around uh, at the end of that last episode. Kind of proof of concept that it's, um... It's gonna be hard to fight with just a couple of people. Maybe we'll, uh, look to hire somebody else. There's usually some adventurers kicking around, uh... Whiterun. I'd like to get John Battleborn if he'll- if he'll come with us. He always seemed like an adventurer to me. It was always kind of a bummer he couldn't be a follower. Mm. Hello, sir! Need something. Hello? I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. You have heard of the gourmet? Uh, I have, actually. Then you know that Gourmet keeps his identity a secret. I'm hoping to discover who he is so I can tell him how he <laughs> changed my life. For all I know, the Gourmet is a woman. You know, I've heard the Gourmet is in Skyrim right now. My word. Well, good day to you, Balbus. Yeah, so I've always wanted, uh, I always like trying to take John Battleborn with me. Um... I think I mentioned the last episode, I always feel bad taking Amran, but I, I kind of justify it to myself. But, uh, man, that is really gorgeous. The light on the Haunting Brew Meadery, man. Um, but John is like, I know he's got his girlfriend that you- Ugh, there. My shield animation is broken. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of this wolf and then we'll continue my thought. Oh, you bastard. Alright. Don't worry, guys. Leave him alone. I'll deal with that shield animation later. Uh, he's gonna be five feet in front of us the entire way. He's gonna run. Sometimes I wonder how worth it Sky Test is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Sky Test is the, uh, mod that changes the, um... It changes the, uh, AI for the animals. And it makes it so predators will run away unless they're in, like, a pack. Or unless you, like, specifically make them hostile. Um... But it does things like this where, like... Wolves will just keep running five feet in front of you, then run back to you, then run five feet in front of you, then Come run on. back to you. Come on! Calm down, guys. Don't worry. He's off. He's fine. But yeah. Is someone um, there? Hello? Calm down. Everybody calm down. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, I should... I should bathe before we go into town. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Come on. Ha -ha, found you. Oh my god. Calm down. Don't scare me. So... John Battleborn, I know he's got his girlfriend, and you can see him, like, going on dates every once in a while. I think we saw him in the beginning of the first episode. He was out here by the farm on a date with his girlfriend, whom, whose name I forget. Um, but he is, like, fully, like, he's fully kitted out in, like, the starter iron armor, and, like, his name is Battleborn, and, like, he's all, like, you know, well met, kinsman. Ah, you should test your, your steel in battle. And, like, dude, you should come with us. I always loved that Skyrim had a bunch of, like, kind of no-name followers. Like, they, they handed you, like, a glut of followers, which they've kind of done the inverse with in Fallout. Uh, I think that comes after seeing how many people made, like, uh, follower mods, like Inigo and Lucian, that were, like, more fleshed out. And so then they responded with, uh, Dawnguard Serana, like, she's a really fleshed out follower. And so, like, Fallout has a bunch of really fleshed out followers. But I really appreciated that there's, like, a glut of followers in Skyrim. I want there to be even more. I want Elder Scrolls Six to have, like, the best of both worlds. I've always thought, like, my ideal Elder Scrolls is kind of like the original Star Trek, where, like, you're beaming down to the surface of the planet with the captain, the engineer, and the doctor for some reason. We all know their names and their backstories. But also there's, like, Dave in a red shirt, and he's not going to survive, and we know that, and that's just fine. So I want there to be, like, a bunch of, like, this is... Jake, and he's a warrior. Farewell. I am technically still in battle with somebody. I, uh, I have a compass mod that you can see down there on the left-hand side. 
but I have it set to only come on if I'm in battle, or if I turn it on myself, so I can turn it on if I want to. But it'll come on in battle. Um, and I can't turn it off, so we're in battle with somebody. Man, I'll tell you, this is another bummer. The, um... The, uh, carriage mod that I have installed adds these, um, named adventurers who just kind of, like, roam the land. But I can't interact with them in any way, because this would be my never-ending source of expendable red shirt followers. Like, I'd hire that guy right now, immediately, but I can't even interact with him. I could probably force follow him with Nether's Framework. Um, and maybe we'll, ex we'll experiment with that at some other point, but... For now, there are other people we can... we could take. Alright, well, I had to reload. I'm out of combat. Um... But the guards at the front are not. They are stuck in combat. Um, I use the console command, uh... to stop combat. Oh, I gotta let Amrin go. Welcome to Belathor's general goods. Welcome indeed. Shush, Belathor. Amrin. Divine smile on you, friend. Thank you, Amrin. Uh, thank you for your service, and, uh, you should head back to your family. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. I do indeed, and I may call on you again. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find the Preventus, we're gonna turn in this bounty, in this, uh, gruesome <laughs> head bag I have on my belt here. Ooh, ooh, there's another adventurer. You're gonna absolutely know where the Preventus is. When it's late at night, it can be hard to find the Preventus. The Jarl's going to sleep. Don't bump into the Jarl. Oh my god, what are you doing? Everybody out of my way. I gotta bump into people. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Maybe she's visiting her father. Did you go in here? What are you... What are you doing? Man, we're gonna have to wait till morning and I'm gonna be really pissed off about that. Oh, there he is. Found him. Preventus! I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. That is wonderful news, but the bandit leader at the Valtheme Tower is dead and I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Damn straight. Here is your reward. Ah, per 500 bucks. Thank you so much. Enjoy All right, I'll see you later. Visit to Dragon's Reach. You are welcome, Loki. Here. You deserved it for surviving. Another one. We'll head to the Bannered Mare. Between a handful of mods that I have on, though, the Bannered Mare has been a little chaotic sometimes, so we may edit out whatever goes on in there. I've got uh, a mod that adds new spots for, like, idols for people to stand around in, and sometimes they get all... All screwy, combined with a million people trying to talk to you. But, uh, with Immersive Citizens AI, uh, people don't stop you to talk to you in the middle of the street. Um, which is a huge and welcome change. Uh, but it means mingling in the bar makes a lot more sense. Oh yes, there are indeed, uh, a couple of mercenaries stuck to the, uh, stairs. I don't know what it is about these stairs. All right, in we go. You lost. What would make you think I'm lost? Also, what's your name? You're John's girlfriend, right? What is it now? Oh, you're a gray mane. Oh, I'm telling. I did not know that. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. You know, I am indeed looking for work. So let me talk to Hulda. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Oh, there you see. Selling the if you need more food or drink, anyway, speak what do to you Hulda. need? Look, this is what I'm talking about. Look at Lilith Maidenloom. She's floating in the middle of the air. She's probably not even sitting on a stool. Mm, whatever. All right, hold up. Oh my God! Look at this! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Stop what you're doing! Everybody, act normal. All right, hold up. I don't I hope you don't mind me coming behind the uh, bar here, but it's fucking crazy over there. What can I get you? I would like some work. You go. Oh. oh, she doesn't have any leads. All right. So what I think we'll do. Sadia, dear. I'm gonna mingle yes, a little bit. We're gonna talk to some people around here, see what's going on. Oh my God, shut Lots up. I'm gonna mingle with these people who of don't want to stop not. talking. And uh, in the morning, what? we'll check the missive board, and if we can get a job to Rorikstead, we'll head back out there with our 600 bucks, because I think it was like 550 or 650 bucks to get to get Eric some, uh, armor. So maybe we'll do that. If we can have a good reason to go out. Alright, let's talk to Did, people. Yes. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Hmm. So you're looking to become a merchant. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, 
I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Well, maybe I can help you with that. We are adventurers after all. I'm sure we'll run into one. You'd do that? Sure. If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Thank you. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? So you mentioned the trading caravans. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Do you trust them? Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And Anord knows a liar when she sees one. So what do you know of these Khajiit, then? About the same as everyone else. They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. <laughs> it's got <laughs> tropical <laughs> forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. All right, well, good talk. <laughs> Farewell. Uh, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. Good stuff. What are you guys dancing to? What is he playing? Actually, I'm very appreciative of this right now. Thank you. Silence. <laughs> Lilith, Maiden Loom. Yes, child. Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Arcadia. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? Oh, don't I've say stuff like that. that. You better not detect a case of anything. All right, you're a healer? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Wait, what is that? Within these walls, I have all that I need to these brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. All right, well, good talk. Don't forget to see me at my shop sometime. Who are you, Belathor? Cauldron. I know all about you. Sigurd! I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Well, that is good to hear. Mila Valentia. Oh, I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. All it's right. fun most days, but hard work. Carlotta Life's Valentia. hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. You get a lot of attention from men? You've got no idea. All right, ladies. Half the men in white run have <laughs> proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Fair enough. You get in trouble from anybody in particular? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his that throat, one? the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. All right, well, what if I talk to him? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. I mean, I'm covered in blood, so maybe Until I can uh, scare him into leaving you alone. I mean, you shouldn't be talking about ladies that way. Hello there, sir. No, don't clap for him. <laughs> All right, finish your clapping. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You need to leave Carlotta Valentia alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, yes. but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. All right, pal, slow your roll. <laughs> She's not yours. Stop this nonsense. What did you just say? Are you out of your I mind? Heard was a sound of jealousy. Are you crazy? Oh my god, $700 to fucking tell him to no? No, we'll brawl with him. Leave her alone or else. I don't have to take that from you. I think you do. Someone, Come on, something. let's see what you're made of. Something. Get him! Get him! Get Snowback to the ground! Come no. on! I'm getting out of here! Each other. There we go. I sure do. You need to leave Carlotta alone, or this gets worse. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. All right. Make sure that's the case. Thank you guys for standing aside. Hey, did you see what happened? 
<laughs> I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. And that is wonderful news, but I come to tell you that Mikhail won't be bothering you anymore. Really? You convinced it, yeah. that loot player to stop chasing me? I mean, I just kicked his ass. What are you doing? <laughs> but I'll settle for thanking you. Thank Here's you. Here's some coin for your help. Thank you. Oh shit, 250 bucks. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. All right, Thanks. I guess that was worth it. Having to get punched in the face. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. No, but she's not though. Of birth. Huh? No, nothing. We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. Wait, let's have a pint right now? We're in the bar. Nah, whatever, Uthberth. It's late at night, I've been punched <laughs> in the face a bunch. I think it's time to go to sleep. Alright, we take a drink. Now we're hydrated. Low here as well. Let's, uh, let's go check the missive board. Collect soul gems, collect venison, a letter to Marthal. Oh, letter to Rorkstead, perfect. I'm looking for a courier to deliver a letter to Mrauki of Rorkstead. That's perfect, because that's the guy we want to see. You will receive an upfront payment from me and payment upon delivery. They're expecting the letter soon, uh, so be sure to deliver it on time. That comes from Ulfred Battleborn. We'll have to find that person. And, uh, oh, a weapon to Rorkstead? We've already read that one. I guess this is another Uffberth. All right, we'll take that, too. Got two to Rorkstead. Gather lavender? It's easy enough to find lavender. For Arcadia, I'm looking for some lavender to complete my next batch of potions. Several samples. All right. Oh, the mercenaries are good moving. Morning. I'm so proud of you. Wow, what's all good about it? Mm. Oh my god, are you guys going to move for real? For Damn it, I just took those missives. I would have followed them. Mm. All right, whatever. Maybe we'll help them and make them follow us. You know, fuck it, let's do that. I'm not looking for conversation. Well, are you looking for help? Where are you going? Me and my friend can help you out. Maybe you can help me. All right, follow me. What brings you to the market? Ah, uh, Silent Moon's camp. Home. That's actually a bummer. Um, Silent Moon's camp was causing crashing Owning in the last episode. All right. We've got the weapon we got to deliver. We've got a job to collect some lavender. We've got two mercenaries in tow. We're heading out to Rorikstead. And we will, uh, see Silent Moon's camp on the way back. And hopefully it doesn't crash. We'll see. Oh, shit. That's probably bandits. That doesn't look very hunter-like. Oh, shit. Is that you? Thought I heard something. No, 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 you don't have to attack! Ah, shit. Alright, I guess- Ah, god damn it. No wolves! Alright, I guess we're- we're in this fight. Done. Where's the last? Ah, fuck! God damn it! Yo, I got wrecked by those arrows. Holy shit! My goodness, I don't even think I have any, um... I don't think I have any health potions. I have solution of health. My health has increased by 60. I had a bunch of blue mountain flowers. I don't know they're gonna do anything. Maybe you guys have some health potions. Mm, not looking likely. Mmm, this is not ideal. I got hit with two arrows and they really did a number on me. Holy shit. Alright. I'm not in the best shape, but I don't think it's worth stopping. Did we lose your friend? Oh shit. No, that's a bandit. Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Alright, well, you know, we should not leave all their stuff here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need that, sorry. Sorry, I had to do it. Oh, I feel really bad, I'm sorry. Your friend's dead. Hopefully you'll make it to Silent Moon's camp. I got a sneaky suspicion you won't. Let's go see what that is over there. This is quite literally why we're out. We're out to adventure. This is why you take the, uh, the letter deliveries to just go see what Skyrim has to offer. So we'll take the longest, most roundabout way to get there. It is a little dangerous because... Don't you dare. It is a little dangerous because I'm, um... Not in the greatest health right now, but... I think we'll be fine. Let's go see what this is. Oh, it looks like a little hunter's cave. Oh, green spring. Oh, shit! 
Jesus Christ. It's a saber-toothed tiger. Uh, I probably had an opportunity to walk away. Wow. No, he's not dead. He's not- now he's dead. There we go. Woo, okay. Man, <laughs> I just got, like, legit nervous. Alright, well, your pelt is mine there, friend. We see Rorik dead off in the distance. And, uh, I think, especially by the time we hand over this letter and this weapon... Uh, oh man, it would've been really awesome if we actually delivered the, um, armor. I wonder if that pops up. I wonder if somebody thought of that, making misses. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll give him money to buy his armor. Because we'll have enough. We'll make more. We'll be fine. It's better to be good. We'll be good people. Pay it forward. Maybe we'll take a nap here so I can increase my health. If, uh, I'm assuming there won't be a, um, alchemist in this town. All but certain there is not one. Alright, we gotta find Lemkeel. I think that's Lemkeel out there. Right? You're Rorik. This is your stead. Let's see. Are you Lemkeel? Yes, you are. Huh? I have a weapon for you from Uffberth Warbear of Whiterun. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thank you. What'd you give me? 50 bucks. Good enough. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, let's head into the bar. We'll talk to Moralki. We'll give him his uh, letter. And we Good will uh, give him some money. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. That is fantastic to hear, and I have some hmm? warm tidings from a friend in Whiterun. Ralky, my good friend. Huh? I have a letter for you from Ulfred Battleborn of Whiterun. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 25 bucks, thank you, sir. And I'd like to talk to you one more time about your son. My son? Oh, Sarah? he's fine. What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? No, no, no. Your son should uh, be able to choose the life he wants himself. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Well, how about you use this money to buy some armor for him? You would give your own coin to help my son? I would and did. I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Excellent. All right. Let's, uh, let's go have a talk with Eric. Eric, my friend. Did you have any luck talking to my father? I did indeed. Your father has changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. I think that sounds like a great idea. All right, then. We will for sure return to see him. Maybe, just maybe, he'll get added to our roster. All right, we delivered our weapons, we delivered our letter, right? Yeah, we gotta get Lavender. All right, back east we go. We will head towards Silent Moon's camp. Uh, we'll take the road this time because um, we are not a strong enough force uh, to take on Silent Moon's camp at the moment. And uh, we might need to hire somebody. Maybe we'll run into uh, some adventurers on the road. Um, if not, we might have to stop back in Whiterun and uh, see if we can find maybe John after all. Um, also, I probably should go purchase some, uh, minor healing potions. Uh, because I am not in the best of shape right now. Uh, I got hit by two arrows and they really did a number. Oh, did I pick up any injuries? No. Just weight and toxicity. Man, I don't know if it translates well to a Let's Play, but just fucking wandering around in this game is, is just fantastic. It's so enjoyable just to travel between towns. If Loki would stop fucking pigging out on all his food, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we are about to uh, get ambushed by bandits, I'm all but certain. This has ambush written all over it. This little faker pretending they're hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wounded hunter. Uh, here, you can have my one healing potion. I don't have any. Alright, there's nothing I can do to help you, sorry. Sorry, Hunter. 
Ooh, nice. The revelers. Let's revel with them. You guys are doing this in a very dangerous spot. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. <laughs> Indeed it is. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Why have only one bottle when you can have two? Ismir's beard, you're one after my own heart. I would love another bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, thank this. Cheers, my friend. May Thank your you, adventures sir. find you fame and fortune. And you as well. Huh? Guys, watch out for that wolf that's back there. There's a pair of wolves roaming around. Alright, revelers. You guys have a good day. What did I get out of that? I forget what this does. Carrying capacity increased by 25 points. Sure, I'll wear it. <laughs> it's a little silly, but we'll put it on. Maybe we'll put it on low here. Or you know what? We'll save it for the um for when I hire my squire. All right. Onward. Oh no, the revelers are getting attacked, and I can't move fast enough. The revelers are for real getting attacked. Oh, uh, they all got killed. You sons of bitches. You're fucking done for. You thought that was a good idea? Where's the next one? Where are you running? Where are you running? Oh, uh, fucking- Oh! Don't you do it! Oh my god, I got fucking knocked down. You have to go kill that person. You have to kill that person. Oh, I have to get deflect arrows. <laughs> no, get him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Look here, you have to kill him! Look here's not gonna do it. I don't think he's gonna do it. I'm gonna get my first defeat and we're gonna fucking kill that person. This is this person is so dead. You killed the revelers, you killed the mercenary, and you put me down? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look, he's not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, he couldn't do it. Ah, ha. All right, we got our first death scenario. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this person is dead. All right, let's see, what do we get? I've been wandering for several hours, searching for a familiar site when I finally come across a place to rest. Disgraced from losing the battle at Granite Hill, I swear to return and regain my honor against Tidvir Arrowface. And I have fear of darkness. Oh, you're <laughs> fucking done for. Look here, I'm kind of disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm severely thirsty, I'm fatigued, I'm very sorry we're in your house. We're gonna get out as soon as I can. We'll reassess out here. Alright, I am completely screwed. Look here, you're gonna split some of that gear with me. Uh, let's get down to the Bannered Mare, Storm and, um, Imperial we are 100% going to avenge to some like deaths and make an example out of that person. Alright, let me see what I'm left with here. Nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. My lightly stale beef, my mildly stale chicken breast, uh, this sucks. My horse meat, we can go cook that horse meat. Let's go in here and cook. Here. Get the cold out. Oh, John, we're gonna take you with us for sure. Did they take my money? Oh, I got 72 bucks. We ain't taking nobody with nothing. <laughs> there you go, Loki. Here. Always good talking to you, friend. All right, I'm going to sleep, and we're gonna think about this <laughs> in the morning. Why else? I'm sure I have some massive, massive debuff in the dark. I'm sure it's nightmarish. <laughs> Oh, nice. Well, we didn't even make it out. The nice screen just faded to black while I was still trying to figure out my inventory, and it says, While Tidvir Arrowfaced heard that I was coming after her, she ran like a coward. Debuff has been removed, fear of darkness. Now all I need to do is walk back out to where we were, and I can pick up my stuff. Um, which we shall do. I failed to kill the Nord Bandit Dropper who defeated me. That's fine. I didn't even get to see what my debuff was. I wanted to see what that did. All right, whatever. All right. Let's go see if we can sell some stuff. I, uh... Sorted out all my inventory. We had an extra, uh, poncho and my old armor in the inn dresser. Uh, reminding me that it is very smart to keep a go bag. Welcome We're probably gonna have to put that together. General goods. We'll Welcome walk out. Indeed. Oh my god, everybody shut up. Everybody Here. quiet down. What did you give me? I don't need it. <laughs> oh, I'm too heavy now. <laughs> Alright, it was fucking absolutely bonkers in Bellathor's General Goods. My goodness, everybody and their mother was in there, so I probably cut- Yeah, hello. 
You got something you want to say to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody comes piling out. Um, I traded, uh, Amarin was, uh, rather Loke here was using the Mara backpack, so we'll use that. I gotta get some boots before we head out, so we'll stop at the, um, War Maiden. And we'll see if they've got any boots for sale. And we're gonna walk back out to where our stuff was. Uh, we got the pop-up that says the, um, our nemesis died on their own, so... While we failed that quest, we lost the debuff. And, uh, hopefully there's some bodies still out there. There probably won't be. Uh, but it's- it's really reminded me that you really do need to keep a go bag in, like, wherever you're setting up shop. Uh, you only have heavy boots. Oh, you got high boots, and they're 37 bucks. Perfect. I'll take those. Thank you very much. All right. It's pouring rain. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. There's very little I can do about it. We gotta go get our stuff. The air is chilly. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, but I've got food. We're gonna burn through food. I've got no money. That- that dead body, or my backpack, actually, that's gonna be out there, there's gonna be a backpack there for me, is gonna be holding all of my money, all of my gear, and we really need to go get that, so... That's what we're gonna do. We have little choice. We're gonna be cold, but we gotta do it. We gotta go get our stuff. Now, we lost our debuff, which I didn't get to see what it does. I'm sure it just made me very weak when it was dark out. But, because we didn't defeat the person ourselves, we don't get a buff. Which is kind of unfortunate. I was really also looking forward to absolutely destroying that person. Because, uh, that is not cool. Uh, they killed the mercenary, so we lost the Silent Moon's camp job. Um... They defeated me. And, uh, clearly Lokir as well, or at least Lokir couldn't get the job done in 30 seconds. I really gotta get that Deflect Arrows perk. We might do some, um training dummy work with, uh, our shield when we get it back. Alright, we're kinda- we're gonna beeline straight out there. Come on, Loki, here, keep up. Where are you? It's too cold out to, uh, be messing with you. I am somehow completely dry, though. Uh, what is this? None of whatever that is looks good at all. We're just gonna leave that all to itself. There are a ton of people. I don't see anybody with their hands tied, so that's probably... Not a uh, patrol of Imperials delivering an old Nord to jail or whatever. We're just gonna leave them alone. We're not fast runners because we don't have good stamina. So we are not in any shape to run away. <laughs> it's best to just avoid. Howdy, sir. Hello? I'd stay away if I were you. And why is that? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Interesting. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Uh, what are you offering to the giants? The cow, of course. <laughs> Others do it differently. Fair enough. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. Interesting. And the paint on the cow? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. What's the pain on the cow for again? All right, well, good luck, my friend. We have no time, no further time to, uh, to waste. We are on our way to collect our goods and our money, which has got me the most concerned. Oh, shit. Unexpected. Forgot oh, about no, this. Nice. Hey, Loke here. Don't worry about it, I got it. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. My god. Loke here. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, and these guys are hardly worth it. You just took a beating for nothing. I don't even have health potions in my, uh, bag. Mm -mm. Loke here. I don't appreciate you're not helping more with that. All right, Loki, take your dagger back. Let's get the hell out of here. Thank you for little to no help. <laughs> Didn't you attain rank of fearless? Didn't you do that? All right, our stuff is like somewhere over here. Should be right over this. Oh, it's like right here. Ah, uh, good. There's a bunch of wolves guarding my shit. Awesome. Lady, forget you. You think I got time for this shit? Oh my god, there's literally like five wolves on top of my- that's my stuff right there. What in the world is that even? Why would that be the case? 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can get him away from my stuff. I don't have the right weapon for this. Nothing about this is correct. Get away from my shit! That's my stuff. Oh my god! I have the wrong weapon! Look here, you gotta do something. You gotta do something, look here. You've gotta help. You have to do something, look here. I had a dagger out. Alright, two down. Where's the third? Look here, you gotta do something more than just looking at them. Alright, good. Thank you, my goodness, look here. Woo! Alright. I ran up to them with a dagger as my primary weapon. Whoops. <laughs> and let's get our shit. Oh, take all. Yes, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Alright, then. All right, let's see if I can... Oh, my God. People are fucking beelining it towards us. I gotta drop something quick. People Until are beelining it towards us. I just want to step aside so I can just sort through this stuff. Oh, shit. Come they on. found us. They found us. God damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. He ate my block like nothing. You don't have a chance. I'm gonna have another nemesis right here. <laughs> you All right, I don't want to hit you guys from here, actually. Die, you dog. Come on. All right, one down. I'm out of stamina. Let's. Oh, not down. I think you got me. You got me. I'm shook. What's the Alright, one is actually down. Jesus. Woo! Two down. Yes! That's what you get. Alright, please for the love of God, look here. Don't be dead. Holy shit. Alright. Your cowardice kind of disappoints me, but I don't know that I can blame you so much. <laughs> Alright. Look here, we gotta talk about your cowardice. <laughs> You're supposed to be fearless now. Alright, we'll go to Rorik's Dead. It's the closest place. We will, uh, sleep for a bit. Maybe Eric is ready to talk about his adventures. Uh, he, uh, he becomes a horrible character once he gets his armor, but it could take a few days. I don't know if he'll be ready by now, but if he is... Uh, I got 340 bucks. We'll for sure take him with us. He might just follow us without... I already gave him 650. He might follow us for free. So if he does, he's coming with us. If he doesn't, we'll pay him. All right. I'm overtaxing myself, trying to move too quick. We finally make it back to Rorikstead. It's still early in the day, but I am fucking toppled. <laughs> I don't see Eric anywhere. Maybe it's a good sign he's not plowing the fields. I'm guessing he's going to be in here, but he might not be. Either way, we need to sleep. Oh, wow, those flowers and monarch butterflies actually did a really good we job warm food, warm of restoring my health. Oh, there he is. Yes? It just feels right somehow, having this new life as an adventurer. I love it. what I was meant to do. It sure is. Good to see you again. Oh, you suck, bro. How would bro. you like to hire a brave, if <laughs> untested, mercenary? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Cost money. So you decided to become a mercenary. Seemed like the best way to see the world and make some coin. I like the sure, idea. I'm a little green, but what I lack in experience, I make up for in courage. I love that. Eric the Slayer, huh? Sounds fearsome. Yeah, father says I should pick a name that describes what I really am, but nobody's going to hire Eric Green Thumb or Eric Ho Pusher. <laughs> no, I need a name that will put some fear in the hearts of my enemies. When I have some enemies, that is. Well, you know what, Eric? Why don't you come with us and get some of that experience you're looking for? Lead the way. All right. All right. First lesson in being a mercenary, Eric, is sometimes you got to take time to heal. You need a little me time. Self-care is important. As a... All right. We'll have a hug. 
real quick. Welcome to the team. And uh, can I assist you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a uh, a bed. I'm gonna take a nap. You guys uh, get to know each other, and we'll head out on an adventure first thing in the morning. We'll do like a proper adventure, I think. We'll see. I've been at this a while, but I feel like doing something fun. Hilariously, I was just checking uh, Eric's stats, making sure he's ready to go, and uh, he has like 300 health versus uh, Lokir's 25. <laughs> All right, Moralki. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. Well, that's not a problem. First off, my friend, with our uh, new adventurer in tow, us mercenaries are looking for some work. You got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right, by order of Jarl Belgriff the Greater, to all able-bodied men and women of Whiterun, the bandits located in Silent Moon's camp, God damn it, have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered for anyone who kills their leader. We'll take it. And I'd like to rent a room, sir. Actually, you know what? What's the word around town around here? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Interesting. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Interesting. Well, I'd like to rent a room, sir. I do not have nearly enough money to rent a room. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna head back to White Run, I suppose. What the fuck? Who's someone there? What? What is? Oh shit! Holy shit! Don't let me die! Nice, Eric. You saved the fucking day. Look here, look here. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, well, Jesus Christmas. All right, it's an assassin who had stuff. That's good. Oh, I'll take that for sure. We'll read that in a second. I'll take his lockpick. All right, let's see what this note says. As instructed, you are to eliminate Eldmund Iron Eye by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. All right, somebody, some jerk named Astrid tried to kill us. That's not gonna stand. All right, we're continuing our trek to Whiterun. My goodness, man. <laughs> I'm really getting my fucking ass handed to me. Eric coming in with saving the day. My goodness. If it was not for Eric, I would be in some serious trouble. That assassin came out of nowhere. All right, Eric, you've already proven your, uh, your $600 worth. Hello, friends. There are dragons about, Traveler. That I know. Warned. I know, I was at Helgen. Then you've seen them too. I have. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Here, we can share the wealth. Oh, thank you, Traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. You as well, my friend. Good luck to you both. All right. We'll cut across the uh, field here. Okay, we made it back to White Run. I slept. I leveled up. We got all of our provisions together as much as we could afford. What the fuck is that? What is this? Who is this? Hey. Yes. What the sh? Who are you? Were you trying to kill Adrienne? Yo, this guy was straight up trying to kill Adrienne. Oh my god. Alright, well, she's cowering now. I guess she's gonna be okay. That was weird. No sign of Yeah, really. Alright, whatever. Well, rudely interrupted. Uh, but just before uh, heading into the Bannered Mare, I checked out the notice board. Um, and there was a job to kill some, uh, bandit at the Halted Stream camp. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm a little worried about, um, Silent Moons because I had crashing there in the last episode, so... I don't want to end on crashing. Whatever happens here, happens here. If we, um... Can't manage this, so be it. Uh, if I die, we'll end with that and we'll pick it up with a nemesis next time. Um, but if we manage to prevail, uh, then all the better. All right, we made it out here, but it's impossible to see what's going on. All right, well, I said we were going to do it. 
This seems kind of crazy, if not stupid, but whatever. If anything, we gain, we gain a nemesis. Let's get a little closer, see if we can tease someone out. Alright, one guy's already out, but he is not interested in coming up here. We gotta watch out for these archers. What, I can't... I can't lock on to you. My god, what was that guy made of? Alright, I'm going around the side. I'm gonna see if I can flank him. God damn it. Fucking archers. I hate him. Come on. Get closer. Nice. Where's the last one? God damn it, you guys are tough. Shit. Alright, I'm fucked. Ah, oh, there it is. I can't move. I can't move. Good. Take him down. Yes, thank you. Alright, I think I broke my leg. There's another fucking archer. I think I have a leg injury. It keeps, uh, I keep getting locked in place. Come on. You got this, my friend. Beautiful. Alright, my stamina is not really regenerating. It keeps keeps getting locked in place. I think I'm uh, I think I got a leg injury. I'll check it out in a minute. Oh my god, thank god for your bad AI. <laughs> thank god for your terrible AI. Oh shit, she got me. Man, got me good too. Ooh, that's what happens with precision. Alright, we'll take a couple of those. Oh my god, I got- I got hit by some collateral damage there. <laughs> Whatever, I was trying to cheese it by, uh, attacking her when her AI was fucked up, so... Where are you? Are you in here? Why are you not using any weapons? That was weird. Alright. Well, I think we did it. We've got the inside to deal with. Let's go, uh, loot these bodies. Man, I really... What I needed to do, what I should have done, is gone and spent some... Whoa, Krieger's Eftermail. I'm gonna check out what that does. That's some high damage there. Uh, what I should have done is I should have gone and trained with my, um... On a training dummy with my shield. That's what I should have done instead of what we're doing right now. Because, uh... I 100% need to get, uh, uh, deflect arrows. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need food for sure. Oh, I love it. There's nothing better than raiding, like, a full encampment. For them just having a ton of food. Guys, I got plenty of food for us. Oh, do we have a, uh, yes we do. Zalda's Mammoth Tusk. Alright. In we go. Watch for traps. There's a trap in front of us. Don't step on that. Alright, there's one. Rusher, rusher! Nice! Man, she gave me a good knock on the chin there, though. Alright. We've got more minor healing potions, which are necessary for me. Eric, I should give one of these to you, but I'm gonna hold on to it for right now. I think I need it more. Alright, we got... One... There's a guy at a table in the far back. There's a guy... Mining. Oh, and there's a couple people down here. Hurry up with it. We've got a merchant. Come on! There you are! Alright, here I go. Oh shit! He got me. He hit me nice. Oh my god, guys, I'm surrounded. Help! Help! Right, I'm coming around behind him. I'm gonna flank him. Oh my god, I can't lock on or I'm stuck! Get out of my way! No, oh, he got me! Hold on. Oh, I got stuck to the wall. Alright. Come here, you. Does anything kill you? 
My swing. Yes, it is. Victory is mine. What are you made of? Oh, God. Oh, did I just make it? What is this guy made of? Oh, my God. Is that everybody? Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody. My word. Oh, my word. All right, well, I cheesed the hell out of that, and I almost died doing it, but... <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm alive. That's what matters. Let's go get ourselves poisoned. Some minor healing. All right, well, that is definitely where we're going to leave it. We managed to, uh defeat the bandit chief here. Or actually, I don't even think the bandit chief was the bounty. It was some other bandit in here. But whatever. We got their ring and we defeated the bandit chief. Uh, I got a really bad chest injury in the process, but I think I'll take a nap uh, before we come back in the next episode. But when we do come back in the next episode, I think it might be about time to head into Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, we're not necessarily holding our own very well here, but maybe we'll hire uh, maybe John Battleborn or maybe one more person and we'll head on into Bleak Falls Barrow and see if we can recover that Dragonstone for the Jarl like they asked, but we'll do that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Skyrim, and I'll see you next time.